What is up YouTube? This is a Vault here, back again today with you guys in a very very special deck profile and opening video together. But today, as you can see right here, there's lots of scars of Bow booster packs. And why is there so many right here? And especially when I did an opening already, is you guys probably saw in the title that I'm featuring a first place deck profile that I won in the locals today with that deck profile, as we all know, is Amazonas. Um, a speed duel deck so it's competitive the over the weekend there were 14 people in, at my locals playing speed duels and uh with this deck um came first place basically so it was really really interesting because uh we'll go into more details of that locals first but i'm very sure you guys are excited for a deck profile and see how powerful this deck really is in my opinion it's just really really strong still even after the release of scars of battle uh, for the time being because the meta is still shifting and trans transitioning as players are figuring out new ways to play the new uh, new cards and new sets to make new decks but for the time being amazon's is still really powerful and decided to do that profile bring it to locals and yeah came first place with this booster box tournament right here so one one booster box as well as 18 scars of Val packs in total so really really great as all you guys probably know uh, the more people who play in locals, the greater the prize pool becomes in Yu-Gi-Oh! for speed duels as well as regular Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, there are also tournament packs, but I decided to save those up for a future opening or massive opening for uh, tournament packs. So be sure to stay tuned uh, for that video. Uh, there's also already been a tournament pack opening of 30 packs. So if you guys haven't seen that, be sure to check that out as well. But we're hoping to open even more tournament packs in the next uh, coming video before the second tournament pack releases. So, you know, as always, quickly, just a quick review of the card sleeves that we use. A uh, green um, basic Link Reigns version 1 card sleeves right here for the deck. You know, it just looks well with Mai's colors and, you know, there was a Harpies in it and Amazon's. You know, just felt like uh, this works the nicest in terms of matching color. So, yeah, let's go straight into it. Uh, skill, of course. Uh, tribal synergy draw power in this deck is absolutely insane you know being able to draw three cards as well as go on top of going to second just gives you a really huge card advantage whatsoever with no explanation at all uh, we are playing three amazon swordswoman right here standard basic dueling damage uh, i played two amazon sage as well um you know very good for back row removal and pressuring your opponent with back rows uh they're pl playing two amazon's trainee uh, really, really good for scaling up uh, damage and uh, growing, becoming even stronger, pressuring your opponent uh, uh, to actually get rid of it as soon as possible. Uh, rounding up for the monsters, three Harpy Ladies right here. Without question, the reason you play three Harpy Ladies, you want to see it as soon as possible from your hand in order to have tribal synergy. And when you, in situations, and get your draw power, and some situations you might even play uh, two Harpy Ladies, uh, on the field and each of them will become uh, 1900 attack which is really really neat as well. Last but not least rounding off for the monsters we are running two sphere Karibos. Um, this idea is really really great because with the large amount of back row removal uh, in the current meta game you know you have D-Spell, Twisters, Dust Tornadoes, Night Beams. It's actually just much more, much more, much more better playing Sphere Karibo as a hand trap, and a lot of players won't expect it. Oh, not to mention Dice Foons, that some of some players that still play that, and that basically rounds up for the monsters right here. Um, total quite a lot of monsters, but you do need these um, as many monsters as possible, uh, especially as uh, Amazon's monsters because you are playing two field spells, uh, the Amazon's Village. You know, I played uh, two. Uh, the reason because, you know, just in case your opponent destroys one, you can always have one uh, as a backup plan. It's just really, really good being able to special summon for your deck. Uh, really, really powerful. And I don't play free because it gets a, bit, a little bit too clunky. And uh, playing two Amazon's Heirlooms right here. Uh, same reason, you know, two is just really great immediately destroying your opponent's monsters. Uh, but three gets a little bit too clunky as well. Next, with the new addition right here, we are playing two Night Beams. This is absolutely really powerful. Night Beam is probably one of the best new back row remo removals other than Dust Tornadoes right now, I think. You know, your opponent can't activate uh, in response to it. It's just really, really good. And, you, you know, that's why I run it. <laughs> Last but not least for the traps, just running two Windstorm of the Edipaws right here. Uh, stable, you know, stable trap that you play in almost any other deck. And, yeah. 
And then we're going to move on to the side deck as well. So right here with different matchups, you, you play different side decks. Uh, as you, some of you guys may have known, uh, the updated rulings now allow you to have six side deck cards. Uh, if you guys are not sure about that, be sure to check on Konami. Uh, and the Yu-Gi-Oh! website, you, you are allowed 6 side deck cards. And 6 extra deck cards if you do play. So first of all, I do play 2 Wild Tornado for side deck. So the reason why is this is, uh, the popularity of Amazars is just really, really powerful. And there were at least 3 other players that were playing Amazars in my locals. And they were doing really, really well as well. And Wild Tornado is actually a really, really good uh, mirror match counter. The reason why, because uh, first of all, uh, you would set it, of course. You want, want your opponent bait them into uh, destroying this card, especially their sages, you know, when they when they have a sage, it's very intriguing for them to pop uh, your back row. And when they do, you know, you surprise them with Wild Tornado. As well as at the same time, Night Beam and Dust Tornadoes and the back row removal cards are just extremely popular, like I mentioned earlier. And popping this card it really gives you the advantage, uh, especially when you're going first too. Next, we are still running two ready for interceptings, it's just really good against all other decks, Amazonas, Gravekeepers, spell, anyone that plays Spellcasters, Blue Eyes, it's just really really standard as well. I know it's not as good as dino against Dinosaur and Insects, that's why it's in the side deck now rather than in the main deck I used to play before probably. And last but not least, uh, we are playing one Metal Morph, just a really good clutch card against uh, any machines or any dinosaurs that have really overpowering uh, attack onto you. And it's a really, really good clutch card that many people don't expect. And then last, uh, we'll play one more of Jar of Avarice, just against any decks that are stall or burn type, or uh, even sometimes against a mirror match against Amazonas. When you play mirror match against an Amazonas, it's just actually really, really tough. There's a lot of thinking to do, and it's very easy to expend your resources because both your opponents, uh, I mean, you and your opponent would probably have Amazonas Village at the same time. And any Amazon's uh, monster on the field gets popped, you basically uh, sum be summoning another one onto the field. And that means you'll be exhausting your resource very, very, very quickly. That's why you want to have Jar of Avarice to replenish your resources. As well, once again, against any stall decks, um, you know, with as your Amazon's monsters get to the graveyard from those stall decks or blast spheres, you can really, really just bring them back uh, up very fast um, with Jar of Avarice, as well as you can draw one more card. So that basically rounds off the deck profile right here, and yes, once again, this deck profile has brought to me uh, first place in, in the whole to entire tournament. Once again, there were 14 people, and right here with so many packs, we're just going to go straight into the opening and, you know, talk more about the tournament overall. So, as I mentioned earlier, um, I'm not going to go too much into detail of these uh, common cards right here. We're just going to check out what card's really good. Security Orb's quite nice. Uh, you know, we're just gonna look at the hollows that we can pull from the set and what other cards we're missing and hoping to get. You guys comment down below on what your favorite cards are. Oh, right here we got ourselves uh, Gear Free the Swordmaster, which is really, really cool. Um, there was a player who was playing this in the tournament. It, was, it did okay, um, but uh, there's still definitely more playtesting that needs to be done uh, for this type of deck. I really, really like this deck concept, honestly. Uh, and kudos to those who are building this deck right now. Really great. But yeah, overall the tournament, um, yeah, was pretty fun. Uh, the more people you have is actually highly recommended. Um, if you guys play speed duels, be sure to... Oh, right here another holo, we got uh, the Koichi, the Battle Chanted Locomotive. Really neat. And yeah, the more people that participate, the greater, as, as you guys can see, a really, really huge prize pool. Even uh, the player in the second place uh, gets at least one booster box, which is really, really great. People who make it to X1, uh, third and fourth get 18 packs each. So that is really, really, really uh, awesome. So uh, with the tournament, uh, the first part of the tournament was to play around, uh, play four rounds of games. And see who basically. Uh, oh, right here we got Ultra Rare, Mask of Darkness. Really, really nice. Gonna put all the hollows right here. Um, you play four games first. Uh, match duels, sorry. So players will play four rounds, and um, everybody, yeah, every player will play up to four rounds. And um, the top four players uh, who, who win the most uh, will basically proceed to the final round. So it's like a semi finals thing. So. Uh, I came 3-1 in the first part, and uh, there was one 
a player that came 4-0, and oh, and then there were other two other players that were also 3-1, and one, so all four of us made it to the finals. Oh, we got a skill card right here, really nice. Bandit, alright, not too bad. And yeah, so then after that, uh, the four of us uh, will play once again each other, and then uh, the two out of the four winners will play against each other, and then that will be called as the finals. So uh, I came free and won as I faced another Amazonist towards the end. Uh, actually, my first matchup was against a Amazonist straight off the bat. Uh, he was a really, really good player as well, so kudos to you. Shout outs uh, to you right there if you know who you are. Uh, the second. Um, round I was facing a Gravekeeper and uh, Gravekeepers are also pretty decent still uh, but however Amazonist is just way too, it's just way too powerful um, so also shout out to you Gravekeeper player out there and um, the third one I was against Dinosaur so this was actually interesting and um, he played a really really interesting Dinosaur deck where he rotated between different skills uh, of uh, Rex Raptor between Dinosaur Kingdom and the Evolution Pill and it was actually really, really tough. And honestly, I have to say, the Metal Morph that I played in the side deck came in clutch and saved me uh, two times in a row right there. It could have been luck, but at the same time, uh, I was able to um, buy myself enough time to get into that card and then actually overcome and outplay him there. Uh, so also kudos to you, uh, Dinosaur player. And then the fourth round, I played against another Amazonist, and he was also a really, really, really good player right there. Um, you know, we had to think a lot. Uh, unfortunately, he won, uh, but he beat me through time just by inflicting 100 life points to me, so I lost that round, and yeah, we went over time. Uh, but then, interesting enough, uh, I still made it into the finals, top 4, and um, in the first round of the finals, I was again facing another Amazon's player, uh, which was also extremely tough and a lot of things to think about. Uh, we both blew, uh, I think... Um, he, he won very quickly in the first game, and I won very quickly in the second game against him, so immediately it went to 1-1 very, very quickly, because uh, both of us probably bricked uh, one after another. And then the last game was actually with the real deal, and oh, Barrel Dragon, really cool. And um, yeah, that last game, uh, before proceeding in the finals, took a long time, and finally um, was able to take a lot of thinking and then finally be over, able to overcome. And then I, once again, the final round, I basically had a rematch against the player that I lost to in the first section, which may, caused me to become 3-1. And uh, we both played all the way to the end. Uh, and it was, uh, it came 2-0 in that round. Um, but we both actually had a lot of brain power used against each other because once again, facing an Amazon in the mirror match takes a lot, a lot of thinking, honestly. Uh, especially with both having Amazon's Village, as I mentioned before, and um, yeah. So it really came down to side decking uh, and strategizing, strategizing on who's going first, and um, the wild, once, again, once again, I mentioned the Wild Tornadoes has really helped me prevail uh, over the player uh, into tricking him. Oh, Metal Morph! Very nice. Would be really, really good if we can get a Night Beam in here, honestly. And yeah, prevailing over that. So, shout out to all you guys in the locals, it was an extremely fun night. Uh, another Troop Dragon? Yeah, and it was extremely fun having playing against all you guys, and yeah. Keep making decks and keep coming, because we uh, really, really want Speed Duels to grow into a greater community and have fun. Alright, so let's focus more on the opening right here. Uh, so far we got, you know, six hollows. Uh, we should be ending with... Probably at least uh, 12 by the end of the video because we opened uh, th there's 36 packs in here and then there's 18 so we opened almost like 54 packs another bandit yeah we opened uh, up to 54 packs in here quite a massive opening uh, probably wouldn't be opening any more scars of battle for a while because now that we probably have received everything we got also, if you guys haven't known, uh, there's also a sort of another event with Scars of Battle. Uh, it's a draft um, draft event that also happened over the weekend, which is completely different. Where basically, oh, Book of Life, really nice. I was looking for that card as well. Uh, basically, what happens is uh, players uh, receive ten pages, enter the tournament, and they receive ten Scars of Battle packs, and they have to make a deck 
out of that right there and then play against each other. And that was really fun as well because everybody, um, you know, attests uh, the knowledge uh, of the set uh, for everybody. And at the same time, you know, for those who don't really know much about the set, it really helps you learn more and how good the cards are. And uh, most people were just playing Machine Turbo because uh, everyone gets uh, Spellproof Armor for free um, as a skill within that tournament right there, which was really neat. And yeah, basically everyone was playing Machines. All right. Also, you guys comment down below what sort of uh, decks have you guys been making so far? Uh, have you been playtesting any new decks as soon as as soon as this new set dropped? Uh, are there any deck profiles you want to see? I'll share some of your ideas and see uh, what sort of deck profiles you guys might be looking for. Oh, another Dekoichi right here. Very nice. We probably uh, it's the second one in this opening, but in total we probably have uh, three a playset uh, throughout all the openings. Yeah, so comment on what sort of uh, deck profiles you guys would like to see from the channel as well, uh, what sort of other videos. Um, there'll be more uh, dual testing sort of or uh, dueling versus videos coming up very soon in dueling book where we play test decks or, or maybe uh, see different matchups against different decks and I'll be commentating for that as well. That'll be really, really exciting to do. Uh, I'll probably doing set reviews uh, very soon as well. Uh, yeah. Almost sitting down through those packs. Um, still no Night Beam. Uh, I mean, I already have two, but I really, really want to have one more uh, just to have a play set. That, that would be really, really neat. Oh, there we go. Speak of the Devil. Our final Night Beam right here. Very nice. Really happy about that. Excellent. Just been putting the commons on the side out of the camera actually, okay, so that you guys can't really see it. But you know, everyone knows what the commons and not too interest interested in them right here. But you know, a whole brick, uh, as you guys can see. You know, we only want to see the hollows. Down to a few packs left. Uh, this might be a slightly longer video, guys, because um, since we're doing a deck profile and. Uh, massive opening at the same time to showcase you know what you can win from participating speed through tournaments and coming first place so it's really really exciting really happy about the prize pool honestly but i hope you guys enjoy this type of content as well as you know having something both at the same time seems pretty neat we got a skill right here so we got another bandit we got three play uh you know a whole play set of bandits don't need all that. Do we get one more hollow before we end the video? Hopefully we do. That will be really nice. Oh, yes we do. One more Mask of Darkness right here. And uh, we pulled two in total. So that would be also a play set because we pulled one uh, from before as well. And last but not least, you know, that is the final pack opening with the box empty right here. So, this opening did pretty decent, you know. I uh, got one Night Beam, Metal Morph, and Book of Life. These are the three Ultra Rares I was really looking forward to. Uh, for the other Ultra Rares, oh uh, yeah, Gear Freed, really, really cool. Definitely want to make a deck profile on this guy for sure. Uh, so it's re really, really nice. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Two Mask of Darkness for Ultra Rare as well. And then for us are super rares that you know pretty standard normal so that basically ends off this entire deck profile and scars of bow opening so if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to, to the evolve channel to support the channel if you guys want to promote more content thank you so much for you guys uh we probably reached up to 470 subscribers by now at least and really really excited to reach up to 500 uh, and then we really excited to reach up to 700 and so on really really want to set a thousand subscribers to go uh, If any of you guys know uh, play speed duel here uh, Be sure to tell all your friends to subscribe to the vault channel once again Thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day great night wherever you are and this is vault signing out